have our first topic for th- for the second grading chapter 3 we have human body systems topic we are going to discuss the parts and the functions of the musculoskeletal system of our body the human body is considered as a complex machine it has a machine called organs that work together to perform life processes there are many systems found in our body one of which is the skeletal system skeletal system on ang inyong mga bones that made up the body framework its function is to protect the organs in our body it also gives gives your body support and shape it works with the muscular system to help you move Skelet- ang skeletal system or bones mo ni maghatag o or magkakos nga nung maka move ka. Did you know that there are about 206 bones in our body? One of these bones is the skull. The skull is the bone structure of the head made up of cranium. cranium. It protects our brain and facial bones that made up the structure of our face. Next we have is the shoulder blade. It is a triangular shaped bone attached to the rib cage by muscles. Mauni asa atong kamot naka connect. Next we have is the rib cage. It is composed of ribs and a sternum. It protects Money mag protect sa heart and lungs nato. Another we have the backbone or the vertebral column. It supports the skull and mopuni mo protect sa atong spinal cord. There are five types of bones in our body based on their shape. First we have is the long bones. They are cylindrical, long meaning taas. And they are used to support weight and movement sa atong lawas. For example, are the arms and the legs. The second type of bone is the short bones. Short, short bo- bones are small and almost cube shape. These are the bones of our wrist, sa atong kamot, sa atong ankles, and feet. The third type of bone is the flat bones. Flat bones mana thin and broad surfaces. They are they are the bones that protect the internal organs. It includes the bones of the ribs, the wing bone and the breast bone. Next we have are the irregular bones. It has irregular sh- size and shape. It includes Mga bones sa atong vertebral column, the hip bone, and even the base sa atong skull. The last type of bone is the sesamoid bones. It is embedded with tendons pariha sa bukog sa atong knee or sa tuhod. When you perform simple tasks such as picking up an object from the floor, what do you think makes this movement possible? Joints allow you to move body parts of your body. It is where two or more bones meet. There are three types of joints. The immovable joint, the slightly movable, dili kayo malihok-lihok, and the freely movable. Another system of our body is called the muscular system. Your muscles are the motors of your body. Ang mga muscles mo ay mo produce o forces that move your body around. How does muscles work? Muscles pull the bones to move a part of the body. When, man, when one muscle contracts, the other relaxes. Just like when you bend your arm. There are three types of muscles, among of which is the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are 
attached to the skeletal system to move the bones. They are called also as voluntary, meaning we can control their movement. While cardiac muscles are muscles found only in the heart. These muscles contract to allow the heart nga makapump of blood to the different parts of our body. They are considered as involuntary muscles because we cannot control the movement of our heart. And the third type is the smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are found in the walls of our blood vessels and digestive tract. They are also considered as involuntary muscles. Makita ni sila sa atong mga digestive tract like sa intestine, sa stomach, and the esophagus. System is the integumentary system or the skin system. The skin is the largest organ in our body, thus making into integumentary system the largest system in our body. Some of the functions of the integumentary system is it protects our body from sa atong mga harmful factors in the environment. It also maintains and steady our body temperature. It secretes waste, magpagawas, magmahugaw sa atong lawas through sweat. And it produces vitamin D with the help of sunlight necessary for normal growth of bones and teeth. So how does our body regulates temperature? When our body temperature rises, kung mutaas atong body temperature, we sweat or we perspire. Your body is cooled when the sweat mo evaporate na. But when we when we are in a cold environment, the blood vessels that run throughout our skin constrict the blood closer to your internal organs thus making our body warm our skin has layers too it has parts first is the epidermis it is the outermost layer of the skin mausad ni siya ang prevent sa mga microorganisms and water from entering the skin and a deeper living layer under the epidermis also called as corium naadani ang mga atong blood the lymph vessels the nerves and the nerve endings even ang atong sweat and oil glands and hair follicles well the third type is the hypodermis or the third layer directly under below the dermis naadani ang atong fats and loose connective t- tissues this layer also provides insulation of heat and cushion of the skin. The accessory structures of the skin includes the hair, atong balibo. The oil glands, or anha dapit ang mocoat sa surface sa hair para mag prevent of water loss. The sweat glands, mona sila yung mga responsible for releasing sweat. The nails, atong kuko, 